Hello SEO, the AI battle still rages on, Bing sets search conversation limits like it's into speed dating, the helpful content update is still a top priority, and the product reviews update is live and kicking some people right in the ratings. We're going to talk about all those things today on This Week in SEO News. Well, SEOs, Bing has launched on mobile devices, giving users a chance to use the AI chat on the new mobile app and on Skype. This will allow users to ask the same complex and long form questions like the web browser feature. And if you've been using Bing's new chat feature, you may have noticed that they limited the amount of times you can submit a query. And that's because apparently some people were just having conversations with it like they were talking to a five-year-old, asking question after question after question and causing Sydney, which is the semi-secret internal code name for Bing's new AI chat, to return some less than stellar results. And as a result, since it's brand new and still learning, Bing has limited the amount of queries at one time to a max of 60, with them later saying that they will probably increase it to 100. So if you could do all of us a favor and calm down so that we'd be really helpful because some of us want to play with it too. But all in all, the AI search has been doing rather well, returning long query searches and answering with full length capabilities like blog posts, summarization, and many other things. Which has just had some people wondering what AI does in the world of helpful content and product reviews. And as Google and Bing have said in the past, it's not a big deal. And in fact, they encourage it. When it comes to coming up with content, just as long as it's not using it for large batches. Both Bard and ChatGPT are returning some good results and they are truly helpful. So using AI content on your site is not considered cheating. With the new product reviews and helpful content updates in full swing, sites that did not optimize their content to be found quicker were hurt. If the bots had to spend longer time to find the searcher's query in your content, then you probably saw a drop in your rankings. Having too much extra fluff on your site may hurt you. Things like carousels, images, affiliate links, or just text that is there to fill the space because you think it's content. That may hurt you in the end. So for now, it would seem that AI content for users and content creators is acceptable and helpful. And yes, it is still learning and returning better and better results. So it is a good job and idea to double check the work. Because while having content generated for you is making things easier, not effectively using that content to help the user find what they're looking for will only hurt you, which is the life we had before AI anyway. Well, those are the big things that happened this week in SEO news. I hope you found that helpful. My name is Kiko. Have a great day.